Welcome back to another MCC Family Devo. Summer is in full swing and boy is it hot out there. So today we're going to take a look at a story out of the Old Testament. You may have heard this one before, so grab your Bible, a cool drink, and turn to Daniel chapter 3. Let's get started. Now that you've found Daniel chapter 3, go ahead and find verse 19. This is a pretty big story, so I'm going to fill in some of the details before we start reading. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were three men who loved God. But at the time, they were being held captive by King Nebuchadnezzar. This king wanted everyone in his kingdom to worship this golden idol that he had made. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused. They would only worship the one true God. So the king threatened to have them thrown into the furnace as punishment. Still, they wouldn't worship the false god. So the king gets super mad, and that's where we pick up our story in verse 19. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and his attitude towards them changed. He ordered the furnace heated seven times hotter than usual and commanded some of the strongest soldiers in his army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the blazing furnace. So these men, wearing their robes, trousers, turbans, and other clothes, were bound and thrown into the furnace. The king's command was so urgent and the furnace was so hot that the flames took up some of the soldiers and killed them. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego fell into the blazing furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement and asked his advisors, weren't there three men that we tied up and threw into the fire? They replied, certainly, King. He said, look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unharmed. And the fourth looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire, and the priests and governors and all the royal advisors crowded around them. They saw that the fire had not harmed their bodies, nor was a hair on their heads singed. Their robes were not scorched, and there was no smell of fire on them. What a crazy story. They're thrown into this ridiculously hot fire and they come out, not only are they alive, but entirely unharmed. They're not even sweating. What do you think protected them from the fire? Who do you think that fourth person was in the furnace with them? And it's not always easy to be brave like those men were, but what is one way that you can stand up for your faith this summer? Talk through these questions as a family and be sure to tag us when you post about this week's MCC Family Devo. We'll see you next week. Oh, don't forget to head to our website and sign up for virtual VBS. Bye, guys.